Oops, now again, if there's particular things I want in feature block one, I would access those now. File, save, save as. Now I've got my PDF and XPS. And then when I close it, it will detect that it closed and we'll continue on with the sequencing. And then it's actually gonna open up the sequenced package. And typically there's some things I need to do to clean those up. Um, I'll run through some of them quickly for the office, but again, it's gonna vary by application. If you actually go and look at it, the first thing you're probably gonna to wanna to change is the deployment. So I actually just use RTSP. And I'm just gonna put in the name of my server. And the path to this is gonna be PowerPoint V12. I can enable this for Vista 32, XP32, in fact, I've just installed it for everything. In full security descriptions, we talk, basically allows you to say, okay, when you run this application, emulate the same security as if it had been installed locally, so restrict the user permissions. Uh, a lot of times with virtualized apps, we, we didn't bother with that. So that, that's an option. So files, files is what exists out on the Q drive. So this is all the stuff it installed as part of the application. Virtual registry are the components that it actually overlaid onto our real operating systems OS. And there are some things we're gonna to wanna to tidy up there. So for example, Remember we did the registered user stuff. Well, we may want them to enter that on first use. So I'd actually go in and maybe wipe all this stuff out. So now when PowerPoint launches, it's gonna prompt them for this information. I mean also if you had particular settings, for example, um, it may have modified some of the internet settings. I'll probably delete this whole key. Same for this whole Internet Explorer. I don't want any of those things as part of my virtualized application. They're not actually the virtual file system. If I actually start navigating through here, I actually wanna look at what is it installed over here. See various shortcuts, etc. The installer folder, a lot of times this I can kill off. This is stuff that maybe expanded out, it's patched, etc. I don't need this as part of my virtualized application. So I'm actually gonna delete that. The other thing I can kill off is the MSO cache for Office. This is what it uses to actually reinstall, fix an application that becomes corrupted. Again, for my virtualized application, I don't care about that. So I'm just gonna save. And I'm actually just gonna save on my desktop for now. As PowerPoint V12, there we go. So it's encoding, doing any compression. So that's finished and saved that out. 
actually meant to create a subdirectory and put that in. Never mind. So now what I'm actually going to do is copy that back up. Actually, create a folder this time. <laughs> and copy all that content in. Notice this big file, the SFT. That's the guy that contains all the contents of the Q drive, the virtual file system, the virtual registry, etc. We have the icon files that it uses, etc. So now I can actually basically shut this guy off. Just turn him off. And then on my Hyper V, I would actually reset it back and apply that clean snapshot. So on my app V server, I'm going to restore that. Into my content folder. And then actually import it in. So I can now actually import it in. So I'm going to import an application. Set my project. Me confirmation of where it is, the icons, etc. Put it in my default server group. Publish it to the start menu. I'm not going to put it on the desktop, but I can do that. Specify a file associations I want. Add who can actually use it. So I'm just going to give everyone access. And we now have PowerPoint. So now on my client, I have a PPT file that I can't actually access. So these are all the applications I know about. I'm actually going to do a refresh now. So it's going to go and check and say, hey, are there any other applications? And notice the icons changed. And under my list of applications, I'll now actually show PowerPoint. And I've not downloaded any of it yet. It's downloading PowerPoint from the server. Launches, opens my document. Now, there is no way, and again, notice it's prompting me for my credentials because I deleted that out of the registry. And that's how quick it is. I mean, it basically downloaded it in seconds. If I go back into the client, I'll actually see that it's now actually pulled down the application and I can see out of a total of 400 meg of package only 46 meg is actually required to initially launch so that's that feature block one so that's all it had to pull down to initially launch the app then the rest of it, it pulled down in the background while it was running that just gives you some idea of the power of these virtualized applications 
that was it. I mean, that's really all I wanted to show, just the sequencing application. Uh, I hope that was useful. I uh, appreciate your time. Thank you.